food is about sharing. I love sharing. I went into this business because I love giving people food. So today's menu is going to be again all about sharing. So I will start first of all with the aubergine because the aubergine will take me a few more minutes. I'll show you how I'm going to cook it. Basically, I cook it on a flame. If you have a cooker that is electric, put it on it as well. But actually, I'm going to watch it five, six minutes and this is ready. While I'm doing that, I'm going to show you my sujuk sausage roll. I'm using lamb mince, a good quality lamb mince. I'm using some paprika in here, uh, cumin, ground coriander, cinnamon, a little bit of my delicious Caribbean nutmeg goes in here, not too much, just a little bit. Sumac, which is this delicious citrusy spicy Middle Eastern spice, oregano, mint, and a little bit of chili. Now, salt goes into my favorite pestle and mortar, 250 years old to thereabouts. So, let me crush some garlic in here. And basically, ready. Takes that long, very quick. So the garlic will then be added to the rest of my food. And this is all it takes. So where did you grow up? I grew up in a town called Plovdiv, which is the second biggest town in Bulgaria. It was called Filibe in Turkish times. And we were under Turkish rule for 500 years old. My father was Turkish, my mother is Bulgarian. And um, all the food in Bulgaria, all the food in Plovdiv is very Turkish orientated, very Ottoman, very, very. I mean, if you smell that, this really smells like, um, like a Misir Chersha, like a Kapala Chersha. These are the Grand Bazaars in Istanbul. The alluring, the oriental smells are all in here. It's like flying on the magic carpet over Istanbul somewhere, you know? I mean, Istanbul is my favorite place in the world. Other people would tell you New York, Rome, Paris, Istanbul for me does it any day. Okay, so having done that, and it's that quick, that simple, I've got some pastry here. Don't worry, just buy the ready rolled pastry already. I'm going to cut a little piece of it. What type of pastry is it? Puff pastry. If you want to make your own, yes, make and pull your hair out after that, because for me it's a nightmare. It's really a difficult thing to make. I'm very happy with the commercial variety for this particular recipe. What we're going to do is actually shape our meat into a fairly thin sausage roll. It's that simple, but the special, the delicious quality of this recipe is inside here. You know, and I think people are going to love it because it will bring a little bit of exoticness from the Middle East, from the Oriental world, but also it will remind you of home. Basically, that's how easy it is. Right here, I'm using my favorite pastry brush made from Duff Feathers. A little bit of egg a little bit of nigella seeds, onion seeds on the top. And we are ready to pop it in the oven, 200 degrees for about 25 minutes. Okay. Let's see what's happening with our aubergine. What we're doing now is smoking the aubergine. There it is, the skin begins to blister. And all we want to do is just blister it throughout. The flesh inside is going to get very smoky. And this is the reason why this is so beautifully done. Here is some sauce straw I did earlier. 25 minutes and 200 degrees. And there you have it. There we are. Nice and simple and easy. Delicious warm, delicious hot. Let's see what they're going to look like. Gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning. You can do this with filo pastry as well. My mother used to make this with filo pastry. I just think puff pastry is something that we use a lot more in this country. And um, it's a lot more familiar to British taste and palate. And obviously it's made with lamb. You can make it with pork as well. But since I'm doing Turkish food, I decided to stick with lamb. And there you go. This is my delicious sujuk sausage roll, Turkish sausage roll.